word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the giants and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, Jeremiah 8.8 8 tells, What wisdom is in them, because they have forsaken the law of God. Exactly the same pattern given instructions to Ezekiel, chapter 4, verses 9 through following in 13 and 14 verse. Our Lord says to Ezekiel, to eat certain food conditions with certain amount of water to be taken, but the food being prepared with human excreta. And if it was not for the pleading of Ezekiel to Lord to tell, I have not done that undefiled thing, and Lord granted him to provide with cow dung rather than human excreta. And the greater time you are spending we are spending to represent excreta in our pulpit. As our Lord told Ezekiel not to, pre pre to prepare the food with human excreta, Ezekiel pleaded the Lord so that he was being given rather than excreta cow dung. Today, in our pulpits, every pastor teacher who is standing if he is not going through proper exegesis, isagogics, and categorical explanation of the word, then, dear brethren, take it granted, he is letting forth to show human excreta to the people. He is not even coming close to tell in his unique dispensation of the church age the great exception that has been given to Ezekiel to tell to cook the food with cow dung, even as such that he is not able to come to discern the dispensations which have been changed, the angelic conflict which has been intensified. But rather this person, they are thinking that they can be easily passed out from this world and have greater wealth in heaven, but by not having doctrine to be put back in their soul. If doctrine is not number one, they have lost the battle long back, said the Bible. If the doctrine is not number one, they have really lost to such kind of a great extension that the Bible records for us. In Luke 16, 17, it is easier for this event to pass out, but not even a single title of the word of the Lord, the carrion, will not just go out. Carrion is a sign of a crown. Even that single title will not go. That means the word of the Lord is so alive and powerful. The words that he has spoken will stand forever. And in his words that he has spoken, he has given to this unique dispensation of the church's believers to stay upon number one priority for doctrine. But the pastor teachers, rather than feeding doctrine, they are feeding excreta to the pulpit. And the hearers are enjoying with the text creature like miracles, healings, and tongues, and the fundamental moments. And the hearers are extremely happy to look, to do, to enjoy, and to go and sin again, but not able to hold the word in their hearts, not to sin again. It has really been the great pain of our heart to tell to you that even pastors are following the trends just for the sake of some few pieces of bread and for some handful of barley. They have exchanged the truth into a lie. And it's very pathetic for us to note. They have really exchanged the truth for a lie. Dear brethren, if there is no law in them, then where is the wisdom, said Jeremiah. Rather than that wisdom, they are showing forth that the pen of scribes have been made in vain. They have not been used. Today, they are looking and throwing from the pulpit human excreta, cow dung, rather than that cow dung they are throwing this human excreta, followed by the cow dung as well. 
without proper exegesis, it is human excreta. Without rightly dividing the word of the Lord, I was unstable and unlearned. They are really throwing cow dung. The both of the forms together. And what is the reality that we can note? The only reality that we can note is purely because there are not enough men in rightly dividing the word of the Lord. Dear brethren, ponder over these things. If you are a pastor teacher, are you really rightly dividing the word of the Lord or not? And if you are not rightly dividing the word of the Lord with the trends that Bible doctrine demands, then you have lost the battle long back. So think over these issues as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. Because the field where I come, it has been disturbed a lot. And as Lord gives grace, tomorrow we shall search a new thing. With our head bowed and eyes closed, the closing moments being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope, and without eternal life. In order to link to Lord God the Father that we believe that, that we believe upon Christ. That is the moment itself. You shall have this eternal truth. This eternal truth for you is for very simple. Believing Christ, you shall be saved. And whereas for the believer, the great man is to grow up in grace and in the knowledge of Bible doctrine. So that number one priority that you take for Bible doctrine will be number one. So that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And keeping his word in your heart, you shall not sin against him. And whereas for the as it teaches the great man it is to Kerosothon Lagan, preach the word, in season or out of season, because for the diamond my witnesses wherewith they have been called, the number one diamond my witnesses is in willing trinity, followed by Bible in our hands, and we are having the number one witnesses of our hearers. If there are no hearers, do not worry, besides Lord God, the Holy Spirit who permanently indwells in us, and the nature, followed by the angelic host, we have our witnesses that we have preached his word. And that's enough, because it is not that we need to be justified among men, because justifying among men or creating men is an abomination to God. And God knows whether they hear or forbear, your duty is to preach. Dear brother, and we shall come back and continue tomorrow. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that I was going to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will enlighten us in these things, and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord, for we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.